I've been thinking for a while about changing the name of the band, and I've got a whole host of ideas that I really like. But at the same time, I decided, why not open this up to all my friends and to fans to come and to give their ideas? Okay, so I'm giving you a band name, and the band name is Tadasana. Sanskrit word for standing in mountain pose, which is a strong, strong pose in yoga. Tadasana. I like slut dust. I like model citizen. And I like PLA, perfect little achievement. Blue Storm. NEO, it combines uh, new ec economic order with NEO from the Matrix. Well, Maximilian uh, Affair. Or, or Yummy Tacos. <laughs> Fancy Pants Johnson. Resurrection Road. Resurrection Road, that's a good one. I like that. Something apocalyptic. B B A M. I think. For, no, no, BAM for a couple of reasons. For Obama, you know, it guys the BAM. Uh, BAM is like Bam Bam from uh, the Flintstones. And Bowie and Morrissey, because I heard a little bit of the Smiths. So it has a lot of different connotations. BAM. Okay, the Lusty Cox. I don't know about that one. Apocalyptic Sunrise, that's your band name. The Witch's Tit, The Axles, and Sugar Daddy. Personally, my favorite is Sugar Daddy. My name Fur will be a very good name, and if you do use it, my lord will be in touch. I like it. CEOs. CEOs? The CEOs. It's the only way, because you're a CEO. Cinder and Ash. Phoenix Rising. Apocalyptic Landscape Express. I think the name should be. What the hell was the name? You have no background. The Pixels. We had a couple of ideas actually. We did. Um, one of collaborative team. One of them was a bit of an inside joke, but. Um, but we still think it's funny. The Hip Tones. Okay, so we thought of an original name first. Merkin, and Merkin. please define define Merkin for us. This is his favorite Mer word. Merkin is Merkin is my favorite word in the English language. It's a pubic hair wig. So okay. we, so, so we've decided the, the name of the band is, is Curly, Curly Merkin. Merkin. What were they thinking? But I kind of think it should be called Hot A. <laughs> my my original idea was Ziggy Wanderlust because of your influences, obviously. Which we both think is very creative. I think the name's got to be Nutella, simply because in my time in Germany, in Deutschland, in Hamburg, I love Nutella in the morning, and most Americans have no clue what Nutella is, however they like it, they like the taste of it, and I think it's very easy to convince most Americans that they should be falling for that name. What do you think? You know, that could be a good point, because as you know, there are many fan groups already inspired by Nutella. You, you see it on Facebook, MySpace, everywhere. Everyone's really getting into Nutella. You already have a head start on your fan group. I first experienced Nutella in Uruguay. It was fabulous. Absolutely. And Nutella happens to be a P to, P to P. So you can do a P to P -er and you can completely upload and download any music that you may want. So it makes absolute sense to use Nutella as the name of the band. It's lickety lus luscious. Express track. Maxim Maximilian Affair. Reawakening X. Trashed. I'm feeling steely to hone it. It's strong, doesn't take itself too seriously, masculine. What? Um, my band name is Rocking Horses, because they're rocking. Fibonacci sequins. <laughs> you have so busy traffic. The Slumdog Millionaires. Consequence. The eighth graders. Kicking chick. No, chicken. <laughs> what is that? Chicken chair. Chicken kickers. Chicken kickers. Would you want to get on stage with that name? I'm just work. I'm in the process of coming up with a name. That is not the kind of effort that I'm looking for. <laughs> My name was Everest because the band is at the top, right? <laughs> uh, oh yeah, Stern Taskmaster. It brings back the '80s. The '80s is going to come back, especially the early '80s. Maybe kind of you know, older rock with the leaning towards punk, that kind of desperate feel. And the key is the umlauts above every vowel. That, that's, that's really what makes the name. With it, I'm gonna go with four degrees of separation. 
It's not done yet, but I'm working with four degrees of separation. I'm coming to your next gig. I'm going with Willow's Slew. <laughs> I don't even know what she's talking about. I can't pronounce it or spell it. It's, um, hey, don't cut me off. It's from Southwest Iowa. No one else will have it, and it's, it actually means something. The scumbags. Got to give it a little bit of edge. I'm not sure that's going to go over real well. Uh, mustachios. The mustachios is what I, is my vote. It's fun. Sexy. Hot. It's memorable. But you have to change your image and you have to be from Sweden rather than Germany. Oh fuck, it's a nice name. What? All I have to say is whiskey ginger. Soul searchers. We basically have the inability to name the band properly in. That inability falls within me. Um, I'm ready for you to start singing. My name is Rick Shavit. I'm the founder and soul of ALX. If Alex keeps stealing my identity, there's going to be a lawsuit. Thank you. Yes, like, okay, what if you pick our name? Do we get something if you pick the name that we chose? 